Good morning Pisces. Um, I feel like we're in for a long reading today. Sorry, I was just adjusting my camera slightly. I feel like we're in for a long reading today. So um, I hope you've got your popcorn and your coffee ready. I've got my coffee in my Audrey Hepburn mug today. Uh, Rainbow Audrey Hepburn mug. Um, if not, pause the video, go and grab some snacks now because I feel like we're in for a long one. Um, oh, what are all these bits? Ugh, get away, get away bits. Um, I will put timestamps in the video below so you can um, you can skip straight to the beginning of the reading and you can skip um, and just sort of cut out all this waffle that I do at the start of the reading if you want to. Or you can sk uh, skip right to the end to the full reading, the full spread with the clarifiers if you're short on time. So yeah, just click those timestamps in the description below. Um, the reason why I think we're in for a long reading is because I'm getting quite excitable chatty energy from Pisces today. Um, my son's a Pisces and he came downstairs this morning, uh, put Plants vs Zombies on and he was just chatting, 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 chatting away and, and I hadn't had any coffee yet, I'd kind of just woke up, I was a bit bleary eyed and he's, he's chatting, 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 telling me about Plants vs Zombies and I'm like okay, yeah, mm, yeah, okay, great, that's great, oh awesome, mm. not really, not really taking anything in but trying to, trying to show that I care about the things he wants to talk about, so yeah, um, <laughs> Pisces, you may be super, super duper chatty today. The other reason I think super, um, Pisces is going to be chatty is because I woke up at about three o'clock in the morning again, half three, I think it was, around that kind of time. Um, and I was getting all these songs through, like one after the other, song, 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 song. I was, I was hearing like, like I was hearing someone talking, like saying certain words. Um, I got a couple of images through and it was just constant, absolutely constant. Uh, like, so you may have someone around you who, you know, perhaps if you're in lockdown with someone, if you're in quarantine with someone, and perhaps if you've got kids as well, you know, they just want to chat to you constantly, chat, 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 and you're like, please, can I just have five minutes to myself? Can I just sit down with my cup of coffee, stare aimlessly out the window without thinking, please? <laughs> and you've got people who are like, rrr, 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 and maybe people are ringing you every five minutes. Um, or maybe you're that person. Maybe you're just like, I, I just need to talk to someone. I just need to get out. I need to socialize. Um, it's also it's the 4th of July um, today um, so I feel like it's going to be a big day because we've got um, obviously Independence Day in America um, so a lot of people are going to be sort of getting together where they can to to celebrate that. Um, why are all these little black bits everywhere today? Go away I don't want you on my on my, my reading. Um, I've completely lost the track of what I was saying then because of that little black thing. Um, Yeah, so 4th of July, so it's Independence Day for America. Also, in the UK, it's um, the lockdown restrictions are gradually being lifted, and today's the day when people can go back to pubs. Um, I think this is really silly. You can't go to the gym. No, no, you can't go and work out and be healthy and you know sensibly wipe down the equipment after you've used it, but you can go to the pub, drink yourself stupid, hug your mates and go I, I love you so much and and completely forget about all the social distancing rules that that's fine you know because uh british government logic um already um i don't know if it was people setting up um the, the pub in my area but last night i think this is what went me up in the first place there was a woman absolutely just shouting in the street uh, and then a little bit later there was like two men like it sounded like they were drunk coming. I, mean, I think it was about four o'clock as well, so God knows what they've been doing. Um, I think one of them fell over, and I think they dropped the glasses. Um, so, yeah, already, already, the, the lockdown hasn't even lifted yet, and already people are drunk and stupid in the street at daft o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, this is going to go really well. <laughs> uh, yeah, so perhaps you're um, getting together with friends um, finally, um, and you're really excited about it. You've got a lot to say. So some of the things that came through, uh, and there's a lot here, so yeah, go ahead and skip if you don't want to hear all this. Um, the song, um, The Less I Know The Better by The Blossoms, um, was the first song that I woke up with, and it was specific lines from it. So we had, um, I was doing fine without you till I saw your face, and then the line, is this what you want, is this who you are? And then finally the line, come on Superman, say your stupid lines. And th that last line, come on Superman, say your stupid lines, was going over and over and over and over and over and over in my head. It was it was really annoying. <laughs> um, 
so I feel like that was a really important message though you know they really wanted me to get that one come on Superman say your stupid lines perhaps you're um perhaps you're doing some kind of performance I don't know um we did get a lot of stuff about plays earlier earlier in the week um all these songs I'll put in the in the description below um so you can you can go and look up the lyrics and see if there's anything that applies to you there um then I heard um it was like someone speaking it was like overhearing a conversation and I heard have you seen a father's daughter and it was like they were talking about a film or a tv show have you seen a father's daughter um so I, I, I googled it and I couldn't find a film called a father's daughter but there was one called fathers and daughters from I think it was like um 2005 2015 something like that um so I don't know if that if that movie has any extra messages in it for you um maybe you've watched that movie recently um but then the, another person retaliated and said have you seen the princess bride so take that as you will that might mean something to you i don't know it's just what came through um the next um the next song that came through was where have all the cowboys gone um where have, all, where have all the good guys gone? Where have all the cowboys gone? I'll look it up properly and put it in the description below. Um, and then the Superman say your stupid lines kind of stuff kept coming through. Um, and I got this sense of someone preparing to say something, but they were nervous. Um, and then I heard the words solid as a rock, which is also a song. Uh, but it's like trying to steal the nerves, solid as a rock. And then I heard steady Eddie, which I'd said actually in an earlier reading this week, but that it popped back into my head. Uh, then I heard he's feeling it in his feelings and I feel like this was someone making fun of me because I, cause I pull um, uh, cards for people's feelings for the heart space so I might have, it might be something I said in a reading he's feeling it in his feelings shadow side as well that's um, fear of people mocking you um, so I might have said oh yeah he's feeling this in his feelings um, yeah so that was like and it was in his silly voices as well. It was like, he's feeling it in his feelings. So it was like someone making fun of me. So <laughs> uh, have you been making fun of me? Thanks a lot for that. Then I heard, um, so at the start of June, uh, sorry, July, on July the 1st, um, you're supposed to say white rabbit, white rabbit, white rabbit, and it's supposed to bring you good luck. Um, but I heard someone saying black rabbit, <laughs> black rabbit, black rabbit. So um, I don't know if that means anything to you. Um, then I saw a polar bear, <laughs> just got all this stuff, um, which the polar bear I think is because I'm doing your reading today and I always associate this uh, polar bears with Pisces. Um, the reason for that is the um, uh, the, the polar bear Yorick in um, his mortal instruments is it called? Um, he kind of comes in and saves the day um, and my stepdad um is a pisces and he always comes in the safe today so I, I say he's my polar bear so i associate polar bears which is a symbol of um being able to carry a lot of burdens being able to uh persevere um with pisces similar to how the leo the, the lion is associated with leo i associate the polar bear with pisces so yeah i, I saw a polar bear like looking straight on <laughs> hi that's my hand um as if the whole list wasn't enough then I was trying to get to sleep and I could hear um a bird outside my window singing and it was it was beautiful it was really like it was almost like Disney movie bird singing it was very very tuneful it was um you know a lot of changes in pitch really like imagine like the most beautiful bird song and that's what it was like a really sort of tuneful melodic bird song so this bird was singing and after a, a minute um another bird i could hear another bird quite far away in the distance replying to it so it was these two songbirds singing to each other um over a distance and it, it was beautiful it was really so beautiful um and then um pete said to me two little birds um you know this song by um why is his name gone out of my head? I'll put it in the description box below. Really super duper famous. I know his name, it's just completely like wiped out of my head for a, for a moment. But it's, um, yeah, the song Two Little Birds. Um, I'll put that, yeah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm having a complete blame, brain blank. Uh, two Little Birds outside my window. Um, I'll put that in this, the description box below. You can go and look that one up if it doesn't ring any bells straight away. Um, 
then this morning, <laughs> as I was setting up, the songs that came through were, um, well, actually, no, this was another intuitive song. I just, it, it was playing in my head over and over, was Dear Society by Madison Beer. Um, uh, which were, uh, what were the lines from that? Um, None of this matters, baby, it's you, it's you, it's you. Uh, that song. Um, then I got I Love You by Billie Eilish, Billie Eilish, and um, I Just Want to Wish You Happiness and R.E.M. Losing My Religion. Now, R.E.M. Losing My Religion is one of my favourite songs. Um, oh my God, I've been waffling on for 10 minutes. I told you I was going to be chatty today. Um, losing My Religion, it's, um, I just love it. It's, it one of my absolute favourite songs and it makes me think of um, a guy who used to sing it, um, I used to live in a pub um, and a guy used to sing it on karaoke and he was so good and I always think back on it and I think who was he singing to, who, did, who was he in love with, but he would always sing it um, and then I looked up the lyrics to that song recently um, and I can't remember if it was on like Genius or A to Z lyrics, you could probably go and find it. Um, and it was it was one of these sites where people interpret the lyrics and say, oh, this is what I think they were singing about. And this person was saying, oh, I'm, I've, I was hopelessly in love with this girl um, and I never thought it was going to happen. But, you know, 15 years later, we, we met back up and, um, yeah, we, we're really happily in love now. And, you know, we're, we're in a relationship and it was lovely and it was so lovely to hear that. Um, so I always think of that now when I, when I hear that song, I always think of those people who met up you know finally uh you know he never thought it was going to happen and then it did uh right okay pisces let's pull some cards so i'm going to go to the tea leaf, leaf deck and this is going to give us an idea about what the situation that you may be experiencing or a situation around you that you need to know about so cards for pisces please woo okay that's what we've got there um when I was doing the pre-shuffle, I saw the dog, the throne, the angel, and the chain. Um, so those cards might be mean something to you. Um, leg, stepping into a new experience. <laughs> Look at the leg. Hi. Da -da 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 -da. Stepping into a new experience. Oh, exciting. And sunrise, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start. So you're definitely stepping into something new. There might be a new cycle coming in for you. Um, that's really exciting. Okay. Oof. <laughs> right okay so the first one that came out was um younger woman dealings or relationship with a younger woman okay interesting uh i'll take this one first because it's all bright a path with money is waiting for you to find it nice we all like a little bit of extra money and moon changes in your life wow uh, and the moon card is your card actually in the tarot uh, which is why I've got the Moonology deck instead of the Akashic Tarot today. Um, with it being the full moon tonight. Oh, I didn't mention that. It's the full moon tonight. Full moon. Um, and it's also a... Is it a solar eclipse or a lunar eclipse? I, can, I always get them mixed up. Um, and it's in Gemini and Sagittarius. So the, the full moon tonight is all about... God, this fits in so well. So this might actually turn into a general reading for a lot of people. But the, the full moon um, eclipse is it's the first in a series... Um, of eclipses that occur with this Gemini Sagittarius axis and um, it's all about um, um, noticing things that are a lack in your life what are you lacking what isn't working out for you what are you missing out on what do you need to, in your life and it's also this mix of kind of like analyzing with the Gemini Gemini is an analytical sign um, and in uh, a sign that wants to try lots of different new experiences um, to work out what, what what's missing, what do I like, you know, sort of a reassessment of the things that you care about in your life. Um, and that's something that's been coming out in a lot of readings, actually. Um, and then Sagittarius is a sign that's quite impulsive and goes for things. Uh, so uh, just be careful around the time of the full moon today um, that you might be feeling very, very impulsive um, especially with communication, Gemini is a sign of communication. So you may actually uh, say things that, not that you don't mean, because Sagittarius is a very, very honest sign, but you may say things impulsively that you later regret or that have kind of a bit of a fallout. So you may want to just... Um, especially if you're going out drinking just be really careful because there's a likelihood that you're going to be very very honest about anything that you feel isn't working in in your life uh so just take that as a bit of a heads up um but set your intentions now because um 
the this series of eclipses in uh, Gemini Sagittarius end in December the last ones in December so anything that you start now this is the first so anything that you start now anything that you put into motion now is going to probably come to conclusion in December so think where you want to be in December uh, and set your intentions now okay <laughs> sorry giving you a little speech I told you there was so much to say today uh, also when I was lighting my um, my justics um, I, it took me four times to light them, uh, it, it lit on the fourth strike, um, so um, the matches that is, uh, so yeah the fourth, I really feel like today's a really important day for a lot of people, there's going to be a lot of changes coming in, alright let's get to your past heart space Pisces, what have we got going on in your past heart space, we've got two cards, so the world, yeah, is the, the world, you're ready for this fresh start, you're ready for, in your heart space, you, oops, <laughs> so sorry, one second, there we go, just not my camera. Um, ready for um, ready for a new start, ready for a fresh cycle in your life. Um, just really ready to step into a new journey, uh, learn new things, experience new things. Anything you feel like you've been messing out, m messing out on, missing out on, you know, you're ready to experience that now. Um, you can see that this eagle, um, and, and it's not an eagle. I don't know why I said eagle. That might be relevant to you. Um, it's an owl, so this owl is ready to fly, um, but it's feeling tethered. Um, she's holding onto its feet, she's not letting it fly yet. Uh, owls symbolise knowledge, so yeah, ready to experience new things, learn new things. Um, and this also ties in really well with um, all the cards you've got up here, stepping into new, new experiences, uh, new creative ideas, new ventures, a fresh start, um, uh, changes in your life. You know, and the moon card, she's got this great big moon here. So, and again, the moon is your, it's your card in the tarot. And um, it's all to do with intuition, um, feeling things, knowing things intuitively, um, letting your heart and your instincts guide you. Yeah, you know this, you know this in your heart space, Pisces. You know that in the past you knew this was coming in for you. I feel like you probably felt really ready for a fresh start. And it's with the Three of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles is a card about working together with other people. Um, so, yeah, with the knowledge um, reference there, you may be wanting to uh, collaborate with other people uh, to expand your knowledge. So if you're... Um, you're kind of talented in one specific area you might be ready to work with other people to learn the skills that they can bring to the table okay whoops Daisy. Whoop. no that's too many cards we'll take that one because it landed upright uh the seven of pentacles um i will just shuffle one more time just to see if anything else was determined to come out seven of pentacles uh, well, No, that's all that wanted to come out. So the Seven of Pentacles is a card about putting the work in, um, reaping what you sow. Uh, so I was talking about sowing the seeds now of anything you want to, uh, if you visualise your life in December, um, where you want to be, now is the time to start sowing the seeds and taking the steps towards that. Um, yeah, that's definitely what I'm getting from that card. So, and she's also kind of like, um, it's almost like the shedding of the skin energy. And I've got this for quite a few uh, signs this week this kind of like peeling off anything that's been dark or um uh destructive in your life anything negative in your life you, it's like peeling it away which can be quite painful uh, but but by peeling this um taking away anything shedding off any old any version of your old self that doesn't serve you any longer, anything negative, any negative behaviours, um, sort of shedding this um, gives you this ability to fly. You can see here that these swans are covered in this oil or tar. And I have that song as well, the tar, um, the tar on your lips is making me sick. So perhaps some of you need to give up smoking um, or you know someone who needs to give up smoking. Um, yeah, but these the swans are covered in tar. They can't fly. They're being weighed down by this blackness. Um, and I'm sorry to use black and white as um, a symbol for good and bad. I, I'm aware that that's politically incorrect in a lot of ways. Um, you know, historically, this, you know, black has always been a symbol with the, of the negative and white has always been a symbol of the good. And I feel that that's fed into uh, a lot of racist um um discourse which I, you know i am not endorsing at all i am not happy with i want to make that super duper clear that that is not 
something that I want to uh, reinforce but um, I do have to say what I'm getting from the imagery here um, so I do apologize if for the connotations of what I'm saying and I just want to make it super duper clear that I'm not saying I don't want to feed into that kind of discourse um, I, I don't I don't agree with it at all um, uh, every single person, every single human on the planet has um, good and bad yin and yang energy. Um, not, it's not even bad energy. It's, um, I'd say it's more like the the upper self and the um, internal self. It's the 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 self we present to the world and the self that we feel on the inside and we all have this so please do excuse this black and white uh, language that i'm using you know things are obviously not black and white um i really felt the need to say that um but let's just say the tar the the um the swan is um you can see it has has been able to clean off some of the tar off its wings and now it's able to fly again um flying off into the sunset um, something about dancing. Um, I don't want to dance. What's the, there's a line from a song that's trying to come through. If I, if I can remember, I'll put it in the description. Is it George Michael's song? Something about dancing. Careless whisper. No, guilty. Guilty feet ain't got no rhythm. Uh, okay, so future heart space for Pisces. Future heart space for Pisces, please. Thank you. You've got the Aquarius card. Um, okay, so the star. It's really funny actually. Um, in Aquarius's reading yesterday, the Devil card came out, and the Devil card is Capricorn's card. So I'd done Cap Capricorn's reading the day before, and then in the Aquarius reading, I was talking about Capricorns, and now in your reading, I'm talking about Aquarius. <laughs> so it's I'm going to start calling you Aquarius if I'm not careful. Uh, the star card, this is about wish fulfillment, wishing for things in your heart space. Um, uh, really feeling, um, if you have been feeling a lack and, and you're getting this sort of awareness of the things that are missing from your life, you're now becoming um, more passionate about your hopes and your ambitions and your dreams for the future. Uh, the star card is also a card about healing. Um, there may be something that you feel like the need to heal. Um, uh, she's uh, pouring water into uh, this river and she's got her hand on the earth. So there's a sense of being very grounded, but also being quite in your emotions and in, and in spirit. It's kind of a balance between spirit and the earthly realms. Um, she's also a fairy. She's got this kind of like butterfly wings. So there may be um, some kind of change coming in for you. Um, it could be uh, children involved. You may be wishing, um, you know, be, maybe a wish of yours to settle down and have children now. Um, this this great big star, I can't remember the details exactly, but it's associated with the goddess Venus, which is the goddess of love. Um, and there are eight um, stars around it. Uh, what is that one, two? No, there's eight total stars. Um seven stars around it so, yeah so with the seven stars around it um and he was a bit of being drawn to this for some reason uh with this being the seven of pentacles this is um and planting the seeds of what you want for the future it's almost like whatever these seeds are that you want to happen in the future um they are turning into wishes they're kind of going from something earthly and solid and and you manifesting tangibly in the real world and they're sort of going up to um to turn in, like the universe is hearing um, what you're wishing for, what your intentions are for the future. Uh, the universe is listening and they are taking those seeds and turning them into um, the kind of cogs that turn the universe to bring your wishes in. That's very, very, um, that's kind of out there. Um, I understand that that's kind of out there, but I have to say what I'm getting from the cards. Um, you know, Pisces, you are one of the more dreamy signs. So, If anyone can can talk about fairies and, and uh, the universe granting wishes, I feel like your sign is one of the ones that's kind of tuned into that. If you don't feel like that associates with you, then um, then I think try and reconnect to that aspect of yourself. Uh, it may be that the world around you has kind of jaded you. Um, 
taught you not to believe and now I'm hearing Peter Pan every time um, you say you don't believe a fairy loses its wings um, connect with that child in, inside you connect with that um, that child who believes in fairy tales because I feel like this is how you're going to manifest your wishes you can, this is how you're going to manifest what you want in the future um, underneath we have the six of pentacles so this is kind of about finding balance and with the star card there and having a hand on the earth and pouring water into the river i feel like you need to balance out um perhaps the daily grind you know the things that you have to do the boring adult things that you have to do um i'll just quickly show you those cards that all fell out there uh, so we've got the king of swords the uh, knight of wands the ten of wands and the temperance card uh, just in case you wanted to see them because they did fall out that that makes them part of the reading but i won't discuss them um we'll see which cards actually do come out for you um yeah six of pentacles balancing out the uh, the earthly realm the day-to-day -day tangible things the things that you have to do the bills that you have to pay uh with your emotions and your dreams and your wishes and the things that you want for yourself i feel like you need to find some sort of balance there Okay, so can we get uh, past thoughts, please, for Pisces? Past thoughts, please, for Pisces. The lovers. Oh. Oh. Uh -huh. Pisces, what have you been thinking about? There may be an element of fantasizing about the perfect relationship. Um, really thinking about what you want from relationships. And this is, the lovers card is um, sexual relationships. Um love relationships um yeah you may then especially if you've been stuck in lockdown especially if you're stuck in lockdown on your own uh you probably have been doing a little bit of fantasizing you know that's okay go for it entertain yourself and also it's really good to see the purpose of having an imagination the purpose of having this ability to uh to investigate sides of ourselves through our psyche uh, is really to help us work out what we want from life it's almost like um if you went out and had lots of relationships with lots of different people that could potentially not be that healthy you know the, there's kind of pitfalls that you could run, run into with that um but by doing it by visualizing it by having fantasies and dreams um you're able to run scenarios through in your head um, and say, well, would this work for me? Would this work for me? Would this work for me? What are the uh, benefits of this? What are the negative aspects of this? So I feel like perhaps this is what you've been doing um, to kind of work out what you want from relationships when you when you are free <laughs> today, when the lockdown lifts and you can go to the pub, meet your friends. Um, you know, which one of those friends are you going to go for? Which one of those friends is going to bring a lot of happiness into your life? Yeah, it's almost like once this owl's released, yeah, you're, it's like this sense of waiting to be released out into the world so you can sort of put your fantasies, your wishes and your dreams into reality. It's actually kind of beautiful. Okay, Pisces, let's find your current thoughts. What are your current thoughts, please, Pisces? Oopsie daisy. The Queen of Wands, aha, <laughs> so this is either the person you've been fantasizing about or it's uh, it's you fantasizing. Um, the Queen of Wands, she's very, 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 very sexy, very attractive. She puts a lot of work into her appearance. She knows what suits her, what doesn't suit her. Um, she wears clothes well, uh, very attractive energy. She's passionate, creative, uh, outspoken, um, can be a little bit fierce. Um, beautiful sexual um charismatic energy very attractive energy um you know if you if you don't want to be in a relationship with this person you probably would want to be a friend she's probably a lot of fun to play to play with oh to play with i didn't mean to say that i meant to say to spend time with to be with yeah to go out and play with um but with the lover's card being here i do feel like this is you thinking about um someone that you're attracted to whether it whether you're attra attracted to the queen of wands or you're the queen of queen of wands being attracted to someone else it doesn't have to be a specific person either it can just be this sense of feeling very very sexual um you know really feeling very fiery uh was there something yeah you had the sunrise card as well which is fire energy and it does say new creative ideas um and uh, fire energy is a card of create a card is a 
uh, energy of creation. Um, you know, it's, it's uh, sexual energy um, is what brings people together and uh, ultimately results in creation. It results in new life. Um, and you do actually have like a fresh start. Um, oh, oh, okay. Be careful, Pisces. Uh, changes in your life. The moon card. Now, the moon uh, can symbolize pregnancy because it's... Um, it, it grows, it grows in fullness, it grows, you know, full, um, so that symbolises pregnancy. I think I mentioned over here that some of you may be wanting to have a child, um, and the, the moon on this card's really, really full, and you've got the moon here, the moon here, all this sexual energy. Now, if you are wanting to have a child, um, you know, that's, this is boding well for you, this is, um, good signs here if you are trying to have a child. If you don't want to have a child and you've got all this sexual energy, use protection. Be really, really careful uh, because you. I, I, the the cards say that there's a high percentage chance that you could become pregnant right now, or you could make someone pregnant. So just um, take that as a warning. Oh, you have the Queen, Queen of Cups as well on the bottom there. Uh, so that's a, a love, uh, someone who's very loving. Okay, and we have got the King of Swords as well came out for you again. Uh, this is one of the cards that fell out before. Um, I think he came out in the pre-shuffle as well. Yeah, he did. A uh, different King of Swords, but the King of Swords did come out in the pre-shuffle. Um, the King of Swords is um, someone who communicates uh, very, very well, uh, but they don't necessarily... S they don't blurt things out. Um, I was talking about the Sagittarius energy of blurting things out. Um, the King of Swords only says what needs to be said and he keeps a lot of cards to his chest um he's very calculating um very logical um very very intelligent has a loss of knowledge um so he could be connected to this owl here um this could be someone that you're attracted to or this could be it is in your thought space so in the future you could be in this mood of feeling very calculating very um strategic uh, you can see he's got that chessboard there he's considering his next move um there's definitely a sense of you or someone here taking steps towards your wishes you know someone knows what they want with this star card up here um and with the seven of pentacles being like planting seeds it's like taking steps baby steps towards what you want so it may be useful for you to um, to set your goals, say, what do I want? And then say, how am I going to get there? Break it down into small, tangible, manageable steps, especially if you've been feeling quite dreamy in your headspace. Yeah, that's what I'm getting. So, you you know, if you want to take the queen, that, oh my goodness, this is it. So if this king of swords wants to take the queen or the queen wants to take the king, you can't just move any way that you want across the chessboard. That's not how the game works. Oh, this is quite sexy. <laughs> you have to strategically move each of these pieces one by one against other people who want to take your king or take your queen. You have to move them and you have to get into a check, checkmate. That's how you win. That's how you win the game. It's moving strategically. Interesting. Like that. It's making me think of that Madonna video. Um, uh, is it the power of goodbye? I think it might be the power of goodbye by, by Madonna. If you want to go and check that out, um, she's playing a game of chess with them. Um, oh, I've forgotten his name now. Why am I forgetting everybody's names? It's a very sexy video anyway. I like it a lot. Um, on, the, on the underline, you've got the Ten of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles is about having everything that you want tangibly in life. Um, you've got a, a house, a car, career, um, food on the table, um, enough money to uh, buy to treat yourself a little bit. So it's being very, very comfortable financially. Um, this specific card gives me a sense of it being quite cold, though. Um, a bit... Um, almost like surface level um it's not you might have everything you need but it's not fulfilling you emotionally and that's for you or someone that you're connecting with okay so we're going to move into your action space so let's find out your past action space pisces what were you up to in the past 
past action space please for Pisces I like this deck as well that it has the um, the moons on it this is the witch's tarot uh, so it's, it's it's connecting quite well with that moon energy with it being the full moon and the moon being your sign it's worked out quite well actually I like the um, I like how everything's lined up there um, it's not chatting though this deck is my chattiest deck it's always throwing loads of cards at me and today it's not really wanting to to speak that maybe there's a sense of not being able to take action with the with the lockdown um, Hey, can I please get a card for Pisces' action, past action space? Pisces, past action space, please. There we go, finally. Uh, we have the Queen of Pentacles. Um, you've had a lot of kings and queens and knights coming out, um, you know, with the pre-shuffle. Um, I did notice that. Um, so here's another queen. Um, queen of Pentacles, this is someone who uh, has everything they want. Like I was saying about this Ten of Pentacles being everything that you want tangibly in life. So this is someone who's really good at managing the money. Uh, they probably do very well in their career. They um, may have a very nice house. They may keep a very nice house, keep everything clean, tidy, well maintained. Um, uh, pentacles energy is earth energy. It's people who maintain, people who, who sustain. Um, so very, very solid, dependable, nurturing. Um, I also notice she has this little dog here. It's a very cute little doggy. Um, and these roses as well, symbolizing love. She's quite young. Uh, this Queen of Pentacles is, is probably the youngest Queen of Pentacles I have on any of my cards. And you do have this dealing with a younger woman here as well. So I, I think you can probably recognize who that is in your life. Um, it could be someone who's a young mother or who became a mother quite young with the moon cards uh, someone who, who had to grow up quickly perhaps um, a, a sort of side message I'm getting for some of you here is a sense of someone who had to grow up very quickly who was perhaps thrown into adulthood um, very early on and had to kind of scrape together uh, to survive you know really had to put in a lot of hard work to 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 have things in life um too much responsibility at too young an age and they missed out on this um you know having fun going out having fun ex experimenting they didn't do this especially if you became a mother very very young so i feel like there's a sense of wanting to explore the things that you haven't explored before Interesting. Ooh, Pisces. Okay, so let's go to your current action space. Uh, we've got the Knight of Pentacles sideways. <laughs> um, I'm going to drop him, see which way he wants to be. He wants to be upright. Good, good. My Knight of Pentacles upright. Um, the Knight of Pentacles is someone bringing an offer in. Um, and this could be a job offer. It could be an opportunity. It could be uh, bringing a gift. Um, bringing something tangible in um, it doesn't it could be big it could be small uh, it probably is big because I'm seeing this um, elk deer in the background and this symbolizes the Emperor for me um, um, this deer as well on this on his um, this emblem okay I'm getting a lot of messages very quickly um, first of all I want to say that the night is the slowest moving night in the decks so this this is going to take a long time to get to you uh, you're gonna to have to be really patient if this is what you want coming in or this is you moving very very slowly and calculating towards what you want towards your wishes um, but you know it's slow and steady and it's dependable slow and steady wins the race um, I'm glad that he's not in the uh, reverse um, Aquarius had him in the reverse yesterday and it's like there's no movement movement forward you do not want to have to wait for a Knight of Pentacles in reverse. You'll be waiting forever. But he's moving. He's he's on he's on the go. Um, I'm getting for some of you. This may be a father um, bringing in with the with the emperor um, symbol symbolism here. It could be an, a, a boss or it could be a father, um, somebody in authority. Um, with the deer um i know it's a golden deer but i'm hearing the word white heart um so um if this is someone coming forward with some kind of lo love offer maybe it's an engagement ring i don't know um this is someone who is um very very pure of intention um yeah golden deer it may feel too good to be true 
<laughs> I'm just noticing, I'm sorry, I've got this green pen on me. I've, I've been making my notes with this green pen and it's it just, I get it all over myself. I'm so I'm such a messy person. Um, okay, so yes, yeah, so this is in your action space. So this is you moving forward or someone moving forwards towards you. Oh, and you have this money path as well. Yeah, follow the money. <laughs> the path with money is waiting for you to find it. So there is this sense of putting some work in, sowing the seeds, taking the steps towards something that's going to be uh very profitable for you okay let's get a card please for your future action space pisces what's in your future action space now this could be near future or it could be distant future oh aquarius had this too it's funny how you're getting a lot of the same things that aquarius was getting uh, they had it in the exact same card in the exact same place so you may want to go and check out aquarius's reading if this feels like it applies to you um the ace of cups yeah this is a love offer or an offer of friendship or emotional support um so it's a relationship between two people um or more than two people but normally two people um and an offer being made or it could be a new start in a relationship a new relationship forming and coming in for you um you know we do have all these new experiences stepping into new experiences um new ventures a fresh start a relationship with a younger woman um yeah i do feel like there's a relationship here for you could be love could be friendship could be some kind of emotional support uh it could be between parents and children um any way that you want to take it could be with people who work together but it's a, a very very emotional relationship you can see that this cup is literally overflowing um, and with the water symbolizing emotion and there's all these warm gorgeous colors we've got this sunrise uh, the, this is sunrise on the cup um, a very fulfilling happy relationship here um, I, keep, I keep getting all these really random messages from you from you at the moment um, there's been a frog in a lot of my readings and the frog symbolizes someone who has been quite down in the dumps over emotional down in the dumps kind of drowning in their emotions and i almost feel like you or someone else is bringing in this emotional cup which um, brings in this support you can see these lily pads here i'm seeing these as support today for the frog so for whoever's been feeling down in the dumps uh frustrated uh stuck um this love is providing them a support system where they're able to to leap to get out of the water out of their emotions find some kind of stability and and take steps there's a sense of taking steps uh, towards happiness I, I love the colors on this card i love how the the sunlight is lighting up the water warming up emotions it's really really nice so yeah with the it's it's with this this chess piece in in your your thoughts as well yeah definitely a sense of taking steps towards towards your wishes towards happiness um definitely a sense of um uh, anatomy i'm going to say female anatomy here uh, with the cup um <laughs> i'm not going to say the things that come into my head but i'm just going to point out that it's overflowing <laughs> mm. um and the moon card yeah there's definitely a, a chance of pregnancy here guys be careful oh and on Oh my goodness, this confirms that. In the underlying, you've got the Empress. The Empress is another card that can um, indicate pregnancy. You can see she's, she's got quite a full tummy there. Yeah, definitely, uh, definitely um, getting pregnancy alarm bells. <laughs> or, or um, uh, not, not, it might be alarm bells, but it might be uh, ringing the bells at marriage. Um, I'm getting bell symbolism. Depends if you want the baby or not, I suppose. Oh, that sounds horrible. Um, be careful. Use protection if you don't want children. Um, okay, so she's um, nurturing. She's kind of like the Queen of Pentacles, but all grown up. Very, very nurturing. Very loving. Brilliant mother. Um, and she's got everything going for her. She symbolizes all four queens in the tarot. So she's uh, she's the Queen of Wands as well. She's very, very sexual. She's very passionate, creative, uh, nurturing. Um, she's expressive. She's... Um, intelligent thoughtful um who am i missing pentacles wands swords cups yeah emotion uh, provides emotional support she's she's everything everything you could ever want she's also kind of like the wish card in that um if you 
this could be you or it could be a person that you are moving towards it's sort of like you figured out here what you wanted from relationships and the empress is the symbolism of that uh, it's either you standing in your power or um, the person that you're wanting in a relationship uh, somebody who's, who's everything to you everything you could possibly ever want symbolized by this person by this emperor's card I knew I was in for a good reading with you, Pisces. You, I shouldn't have favourite. I shouldn't have favourite signs, but Pisces, you want, you're one of my favourite signs. Shh, don't tell the others. Okay, so I'm going to pause now. Oh my god, we've got the Ace of Pentacles in the underline as well. This is this offer coming in with the Knight of uh, Knight of Pentacles. Um, new opportunity. Uh, so I'm going to pause now, and I'm going to pull clarifiers for all of this from the Gilded Tarot deck. Um, and then I'm going to spend a bit of time by myself um, just having a look, seeing, looking at the symbolism, working out kind of what's going on. Um, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to explain everything to you. I'm going to do it off camera just because it, it saves time with this being quite a long reading. Um, it would be two hours long <laughs> if, I, if, I, if I did it on camera. It would just be ridiculously long reading. So I'm going to pause and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, we're back with your full spread. Um, you've got two cards here in the exact same place as Aquarius. Uh, if you're if you're like Aquarius Pisces cusp, or you're dealing with an um, uh, dealing with a Aquarius, or you have Aquarius in other placements in your chart, you may want to go and check out that reading. I feel like there's definitely some kind of connection here with it with Aquarius. Um, and you've got the Aquarius card here. Um, now I am seeing that for some of you, there may be a third party situation here. If this is if if your reading is about love, there may be a third party situation here. Um, you've got the lovers card twice, which can indicate uh, making a decision between two different people, um, and you've also got uh, the three of pentacles here twice. So you've got these these threes. Um, yeah, three symbolizing uh, relationships with three people. Um, yeah, there may be you may be choosing between two different people. The chariot as well is making a choice, but it's in reverse, not making a choice. Um, and I said here about wanting to explore what you want from relationships. Uh, that might that's not going to be for everybody, um, but I it, it is one of the messages that's coming through in this reading. Uh, so let's let's get down to it. So I clarified why why have we got the three of pentacles here? And it told me that it's um, an ace of swords and the seven of wands. Now the ace of swords might be uh, something. Um, normally it's a truth. I see it as a truth or news. Something that isn't being spoken. Um, information that needs to come out especially with the owl information that needs to come out and it's got this chain okay i'm getting additional messages so um, needing to cut through this chain there's something that someone feels chained to which is stopping them from from being able to fly and and gain new knowledge now the sword is here to cut through the chain cut through the bad things that bind um again this is another message i think that i think it was aquarius was getting um yeah, a sense of feeling tethered to something and needing to break the chain. But that truth, with it being in the reverse, that truth isn't being spoken. Or that news isn't coming in. There's something not being communicated. Um, regarding, it could be regarding work. Three of Pentacles is about work. But it can mean putting work into a relationship as well. Um, this is something that you may feel very, very defensive about. Um, with the Seven of Wands, you can see that it's literally defending this gate. Um, or this doorway um, it's almost like it, I've gained a sense as well of feeling like you've got your back to the wall um, you can see that if he takes a few steps back he's going to trip over that that um, that step there and he may fall over the balcony feeling like you've got nothing maybe feeling like nobody's got your back everybody's attacking you nobody's got your back in a situation uh, it's kind of precarious but yeah so you, obviously naturally in that position you would be feeling very very defensive um, it can also be a card about standing up for something that you believe in, um, protecting, protecting something, protecting that doorway. Um, where does that doorway lead? You know, you're protecting your path, you're protecting your journey. But that that's probably why it could be you, it could be another person, but that's why this this uh, information isn't coming to light yet. This it's it's because 
this, of this need to be defensive. Uh, now, you also have this sunrise card here, so I do feel like, but you have the moon as well. There's the sunrise, sun and the moon, so it's almost like yin-yang yin energy again. You've got the chariot there, um, and my heart just pulled, so yeah, yin-yang yin energy. Um, finding some sort of balance between in yourself or it could be finding a balance with you and another person or balance within your life balancing different aspects that may be conflicting um but the sun can be this sense of illuminating a situation i feel like you've got a lot a lot of moon energy over here though so there may be something that's not coming to light um the the lovers card here was clarified by the three of pentacles in reverse so you have the three of pentacles in the upright in your heart space but in the reverse in your thinking space so there may be some kind of conflict here about whether you want to put work into something or not whether you want to work with other people or not who do you want to work with um and i'm also noticing there is this anvil with a chain again uh feeling chained to work um really feeling weighed down by your responsibilities perhaps uh, feeling like you're the one putting in all the work when actually you want other people to come and help you out um yeah there's a sense of kind of always being under attack um and you need people who have your back you know you can't do it all on your own you need support um oh, pisces if that's you i'm so sorry that's really i nearly swore then that's a really uh plummy place to be i'm sorry um but i do feel like there's this queen of cups here who is supporting you um it's like uh, this intuitive knowing this could be you or it could be someone else um yeah intuitively knowing i, f I feel um so it could be either way this could be you intuitively knowing that someone needs emotional support here you, you know knowing that someone needs you to to um to really have their back um, or it could be um, you feeling like you need someone to come in and, and provide that support for you um, Queen of Cups is very very nurturing very loving it could be a mother um, you know you, she almost looks pregnant again she's kind of got a hand on her stomach and it's, her stomach does bulge slightly um, yeah so this could definitely be be um, a mother in your life um, providing emotional support for you um, keeping you going i was talking about that polar bear as well at the beginning of the reading and and how pisces are really good at bearing burdens and persevering um you know this may have been a very difficult time for you i'm not seeing um the nine of nine of ones or the ten of ones here though so perhaps whatever had burdened you is is, is passing now you're stepping you've got a lot of this energy of like stepping into uh, a new cycle leaving the past behind stepping into a new cycle that's going to be very productive and rewarding for you so perhaps um yeah that could relate to you i'm just going to shift i'm i'm sat on the floor and i'm getting a little bit uncomfortable so i'm just going to shift position slightly um Okay, so with the with this Queen of Pentacles, um, you've got the Five of Wands. Uh, this is conflict. Um, it's in your action space as well. So you may have actually been physically fighting with someone here. Um, I hope not. Um, you know, that's that's not great. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles is in the upright, so I'm not seeing her as being a bad energy. Um it could just be two people who have who aren't seeing eye to eye two people who are really having disagreements about something um there is really a sense of, it doesn't have to be physical fighting um it can just be you know um arguments uh, conflict um uh, disagreements over a situation you can see these all these people are fighting there's like too many people involved too many ugh, yeah really too many people coming at you um <laughs> A lot of conflict, a lot of um, high high tempers, hot hot headedness, uh, and but down here, is, there's these two butterflies and these two mice. It's almost like a sense of you and this other person. I'm seeing like everybody else is hot headed, everybody else is shouting, arguing, um, really trying to get their opinions heard. But you and someone else, you're just kind of you're doing your own thing here. Um, you know you're not getting involved you're just kind of down here following your own path doing your own thing the butterfly symbolized change um um transformation um especially with you setting out on this new cycle in your life um the two mice are like the small details um 
paying attention to the little things that perhaps everybody else is overlooking the little things because they're too busy shouting and fighting and and wanting to get their opinion heard so these two mice attending to the the smaller matters um yeah i do get a sense of you and someone else just kind of you know maybe if this is at work and you and someone else are just kind of like sneaking away saying right okay now let's go and have a, a break <laughs> let's go and have a, a smoke on the on the uh on the rooftop um the reason why i'm saying that is because i was picking up on that tar um yeah cut that out that's not doing you any good um the um the seven of pentacles is with the two of swords so that it is a need to block something to cut something out uh to stop doing something that's harmful to you um i, th I do think some of you probably do smoke so please um I'm I, I'm not I'm not going to tell you what to do and what not to do, but the cards are saying that that the you know it's really unhealthy for you. It's holding you back. It's holding you holding you down. It's stopping you being able to fly. You may be spending too much money on on things that you shouldn't be spending money on. Uh, yeah, and this card's here to tell you cut it out, block it, stop it. Alarm bells are ringing. Ah, okay. I was thinking about the the mice um, and tending to the small things. Uh, if there are any any alarm bells ringing for you here. Um, if there's any health niggles, perhaps, there's definitely something you need to cut out. I don't know what that is for you. You're going to have to work that one out. I feel like you intuitively know, though, she's got this um, this golden blindfold on and this moon card. This, this intu intuition, intuitively knowing. Thank you. I'm glad that alarm stops. Um, yeah, listen to the alarm bells. They're there for a reason. Okay, the, uh, the Queen of Wands. Now, this surprised me. Uh, because I was seeing this as a really positive energy, the Queen of Wands here. Um, someone you were moving towards or someone moving towards you. Um, very, very sexual, very attractive. Uh, you've got a warning here, the Ace of Wands in reverse. Uh, again, um, the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. It's uh, symbolic of um, the parts that make a baby. Okay, man and woman. <laughs> parts that make a baby I know you know what I mean uh, yeah you may be over passionate um, uh, you're gonna need to use protection guys um, but it can also mean a loss of passion now I was talking about a third-party situation reevaluating what you want from life perhaps there's been um, relationships relationships in your past that have been very fiery and very very passionate and very sexual perhaps that's not what you want from a relationship anymore I'm seeing this Queen of Cups here is providing this emotional support which is what you're moving towards um, I was also talking about at the beginning of the reading about um, the Sagittarius Gemini um, axis uh, with the full moon and this this new cycle of, of, of eclipses that we're moving into ending in December is um, is a time of reassessing what you want from life reassessing your priorities uh, thinking what you lack from life so if there's been too much passion um, too much sexual energy uh, perhaps that's not sustaining you anymore that's not enough for you anymore um, you need that emotional support you need the cups as well um, doesn't mean that you have to get rid of the sexual energy she is in the upright but there's there's something negative here with it um, that it may need to be cut out um you, somebody may be proposing guys uh, knight of pentacles coming in with a solid tangible offer uh, a golden offer a golden opportunity and the four of wands is marriage uh, it doesn't always have to be it can be um, an invite to a party perhaps um but the four of wands is to do with um um, your community and having very secure foundations uh, oh, yeah you, you and someone else you're gonna be at it like rabbits um, rabbits again a symbol of pregnancy uh, but also a symbol of abundance you know um, rabbits um, they produce a lot of babies uh, so if this is not a, a sexual relationship for you if this is a creative project it's gonna be very very abundant very productive um, a dragonfly another another um, um, animal of transformation um yeah um this could definitely be a proposal guys i am excited everybody's getting married and engaged i want to come to the weddings and dance okay so the star here um uh, wishes dreams um healing um 
you've got this knight of cups here dashing in towards the lover's card so in your heart space um either you know this offer is coming in especially if it's a love offer for you you know that this offer is coming in rushing in towards the lovers um or it, this is you absolutely like rushing in towards um someone you're very very passionate about um really nice card i always see this one as the knight of wands though so it's the knight of cups but with it being so red and there's so much energy in this card i do see it as com a combination of the knight of cups and the knight of wands so this is passion and love um if there was love missing here you do have the queen of cups here as well if there was lust, love missing and this was a very lustful situation the love is coming in um there is a sense of having to hold back though um excuse me i'm sorry and i was talking about that sagittarius energy with the horse of of rushing in of speaking your truth of, of blurting everything out but you, but there's a sense of like pulling back on the reins and and restraint here um I, I feel like you know something really good is coming in for you but you but you're having to show restraint um you know whatever you've been wishing for and uh, wanting to move towards it but still knowing that it's you have to be strategic you can't just go blurting everything out um i love this lover's card this is probably my favorite lover's card because it symbolizes to me um, mars and venus um the the lovers of uh, classical mythology um which is it is this kind of yin yang energy it's it's there's a hot, just very very hot very passionate relationship um again there's a feeling of restraint he's holding a hand back um you needing to restrain yourself almost and with her rising up towards this star it's like this is the wish this is what you want you want you don't just want the passion you want the love behind it as well because these two dolphins um symbolize uh, uh two people in a loving relationship uh true love um happiness you know the dolphins are a very happy animal um, you know, splashing off in and out of their emotions. You know, they don't sink too deep into the emotions. They don't come out of their emotions. They know how to, to ride the waves. Um, beautiful. I've got goosebumps. It's a really beautiful card. Um, again, with this King of Swords um, and the Chariot in the reverse. The Chariot is a uh, fast action forward, fast movement forward. Really like going for what you want uh, making a decision and going for it um in the reverse it's either not making a decision um not moving or slow movement um and i feel like the reason for this uh, the same with um, this knight pulling back on the reins um and this need for restraint um this is really really good because you don't want to mess everything up by blurting things out too soon with that sagittarius energy um you know that there's a, a sense of timing involved um and knowing when to speak your truth um knowing when to go for the things that you want so this um king of swords is is strategic he's moving one step at a time with that seven of pentacles one step at a time hopping on these lily pads moving closer and closer to his goal his wish um and I feel like this this slow and steady, steady Eddie, did not say that, steady Eddie at <laughs> the start of the reading, I, um, is, um, is going to be more successful. Um, I feel like either route that you take is going to get you to the same place. But, you know, if you're too hasty, there's a sense of kind of um, bringing in a tower moment for yourself, which can be quite destructive and quite and can cause a lot of problems where you being quite strategic, you can kind of bypass a lot of problems um, by being patient. Um, the Sagittarius in me is like, why? I don't want to be patient. The Libra in me, in me is like, yes, balance, patience. Mm. <laughs> okay, so um, the Ace of Cups here, this love offer coming in. I feel, I'm, I'm, this is the main message of the reading. So if this isn't your story, I'm so, so sorry. Maybe the next one would be more um, applicable to you. Um, but for, yeah, most of you, this is love. The Ace of Cups coming in, the Knight of Swords here. Uh, the Knight of Swords is facing their truth here. In the action space, they know the truth. They've got the Sword of Truth held high. Um, and the truth is that they love someone oh, or that they're ready for this new loving start. Um, yeah, absolute truth, absolute clarity. Um, this could actually be speaking the truth and communicating the truth about this love. Um there's a sense of perhaps of going backwards returning uh, so if this is something you've moved away from this is returning to this um he also has a shield but the shield is on his back which is very very um 
significant actually so what I was saying up here about feeling like um, nobody has your back you know your, your back's to the wall you, you could step back and stumble and fall it's like I'm wrapping I'm turning this into a wrap your back's to the wall you could step back stumble and fall <laughs> um sorry I'll, I'll not do that again I'm so sorry hello fellow kids um but this I feel like this love this emotional support and I was talking about this queen of cups here providing emotional support this support is 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 what's shielding your back um it's like you're safe now you're safe to speak your truth you we're safe to take this sword and you know even though it's in the reverse and it's not being spoken it is the sword's being held high so it's like feeling your truth knowing your truth in your heart space but not speaking it but down here in the future he is he's ready he's ready to just speak his truth you know it's like it's time um about this love um the magician in reverse um now aquarius had this in the thoughts yesterday um and it confused me a little bit. Um, upright, the magician is a card about um, is 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 a very very powerful manifester. This is someone who can um, make their dreams a reality. Um, so in the reverse, it has kind of almost a negative connotation of of not being able to make your dreams a reality, not being able to ground um, your dreams. But that's contradictory to to all this um, other um, information in the reading about the pentacles and the the um, the lily pads of, of, and the chessboard of taking tangible steps forward if you're taking tangible steps forward then you're the magician in the upright so you've got a choice here are you going to take the tangible steps or are you just going to blurt everything out <laughs> you might be blurting everything out guy um pisces <laughs> i'm sorry to say i don't know if that's the best best thing to do do be careful um especially around the full moon because you're going to be more inclined to blurt things out than uh, you would normally be um the message that I'm getting now a little bit more strongly, and I, I had this in another reading, I can't for the life of me remember which one it was, but there's almost a sense of taking what's earthly and boring and mundane and making it magical and powerful and, and spiritual and romantic and um, like a fairy tale. It's like the world around you. It's like it's got this world behind him. The world is being transformed by this love, by this connection, into something that feels like a fairy tale. It feels unreal. It feels um, magical. It feels magical. And that's the that's what I'm getting from this today. And my back is so hot right now. Like my whole back is on fire. So I feel like I'm definitely on the right path with that. And it ties in again with what I was saying really early on about, about if you've lost this sense of believing in 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 fairies believing in magic and fairy tales and and romance you know that it's like the peter pan thing again it's it's like you're rediscovering this this childhood sense of wonder this childhood ability to use your imagination and dream and and that 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 that's so powerful that that um that childhood ability to to imagine and dream because it's a transformative energy and we forget how to do that as adults we become so bogged down with with the details i was saying down here about the details of life about paying the bills about um ticking the boxes about taking the tangible steps that sometimes we forget how to dream for ourselves how to manifest i think you're rediscovering that um the moon card hey it's intuition it's trusting your instincts trusting your intuition trusting your inner child that's trying to tell you how to have fun how to enjoy life uh, it's it's literally magical magical pisces it's amazing uh now just to kind of close out this this full reading uh you've got a lot of cards over here um in the underlying now <laughs> what came out first uh first of all i think these two cards came out um, the eight of one, eight of swords is feeling trapped, and it's me feeling mentally trapped. Um, perhaps overthinking these tangible steps, uh, this strategy um, is almost keeping holding you back, keeping you trapped, keeping you chained. Um, I was talking again about breaking the chains over here. Um, it's, it's, your, it's almost like your own thoughts, overthinking things, um, planning too much is keeping you chained, which may be why you're almost on the verge of blurting things out here. Um, the moon card is a sense of not knowing things or using your intuition. 
Um, I feel like you need to use your intuition here. If you're overthinking things um, and that's causing you to feel trapped, try and stop overthinking, stop, stop strategizing. Trust your intuition. You can wear the blindfold, like Arya in Game of Thrones where she's, she's learning how to fight with the blindfold on. Um, trust your instincts. Use your other senses to, to work your way out of this maze. Um, and I feel like you'll be able to then, you know, those, those chains aren't as tightly wound as she thinks. She could probably wriggle those loose. And then she'll be able to navigate her way between the swords or move the swords out of the way. Yeah, use your intuition. Use The moon card is your card, Pi uh, Pisces. You are the sign that is most able to use your intuition in a situation. So, you know, do it. That's that's going to work well for you. Um, and I was sort of thinking, well, what's 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 stuck? Um, and I've got the Nine of Cups. Uh, the Nine of Cups is a card about wish fulfillment. Yesterday in Aquarius's reading, it was someone being held over a barrel and being no longer held over, over a barrel. Um, you know, no longer held back by whatever uh, conflicts were, were there in your past. And you're, you're now successful. You have emotional stability within yourself. Now, once you have emotional stability within yourself, um, your emotions are stable, you know that you're good on your own, you're then able to extend this cup to someone else and get your ten of cups, which is complete happiness with someone else. Um, and I was sort of thinking, what's the wish? And again, the star card is, the star card's the big wish, um, and the nine of cups is um, sort of wishes being granted in the minor arcana. Uh, so the very similar energy. So I was like, well, what's the wish? What, what's this person wishing for? And I was like, oh, it's next to the Empress card. So perhaps this is someone wishing for their Empress. And then underneath was the Empress card. Yeah, you've got the Empress card here twice. Um, whatever this wish is for you. Whatever this wish is for you. It's like wish, wish granted. The universe is saying wish granted. Uh, your fairy godmother is here. <laughs> to uh, to wave the magic wand you know cinderella you are going to the ball um yeah pa pa pisces i don't think i could have got a better reading i almost don't feel like i need to pull an advice card for you but um i've got the moon moonology deck here um with it being the full moon i feel like it's uh it's appropriate to use the moonology deck for your advice so let's see best advice we can give to pisces please Ooh, I've got the deck upside down. Best advice we can give to Pisces in the situation, please. Please give me some advice for Pisces. Oh my god, I don't think I could have pulled a better card if I tried. Um, a new romantic cycle begins. New moon in Libra. You, yeah, you're definitely going into some sort of romantic cycle here, either with or another person, or just romance in terms of um, this sense of fantasy, of wonderment, of being able to. Um, I'm getting um, the, the line from Hamlet, I could be bounded in a nutshell, I call myself a king of infinite space. I'm going to leave the end of that line off, but the, the beginning of that line um, is, is talking about how you might be feeling stuck. Where's that sword card? You could be feeling stuck, you could be bound up in a tiny space, you could be stuck in your home, bound in a nutshell. Um, but if you have the ability to dream, if you have the ability to use your imagination, um, the the universe is open up to you. You could go anywhere. You could go to the moon. You could go diving deep underneath the sea. It's almost using your dreams to create a sense of freedom, and that will actually manifest itself if you believe in manifestation. And um, uh, blah, 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 I've forgotten the name of it now. Um, yeah, dreaming is your strength. Dreaming, magician is how you is how you create your reality you can shape your own reality through your dreams through your fantasies so keep doing it don't feel embarrassed don't feel like oh this is childish that's your strength pisces a new rom romantic cycle begins new moon in libra so i'm going to look it up and see what the the uh, the book has to say for you <clears throat> i'm losing my voice now <laughs> talking too long Oh, guys, if you're going for a Libra, just be warned. We do talk far too much. We like we like the sound of our own voice. <laughs> the Libra is a card. The Libra is a sign of um, being able to see two sides or all sides in a situation. Um, so if you if you want to get Libra's opinion on something, they're not just going to say this is my opinion. They're going to say this is my opinion, and this is the opinion of other people. But other people may feel like this, and this is why those people may feel like this. And this is the benefit of this person feeling like this, and this is the benefit of this other person feeling like this. And this is the way. This is exactly why I'm right, and you should go with what my opinion is because I know best. <laughs> so do be one that if you're connecting with a Libra, that we're absolute pains in the asses to be quite frank. Okay. 
uh, give and take give and take could be, well be the answer to whatever dilemma you're asking about compromise may be called for it's time to start negotiating or even renegotiating when the new moon in libra comes up there's a restart for you and for someone else a new relationship could be beginning and if that's the case the chances are this will be a healthy and well-balanced connection in anything you do after pulling this card, doing it in pairs is advised, such as teaming up with someone in business or in your personal life. Now that's making me think of those two songbirds that were outside my window this morning. Um, you know, the, so the songbird he began by singing on his own or on her own, um, you know, singing out into the universe, um, calling out uh, this beautiful song and eventually someone else answered. So if you haven't got anyone in your life right now, sing your song, dream. Put your wishes out into the universe because someone out there is is there for you um whether you've met them yet or not someone out there is destined to be with you and they're singing to the universe as well and eventually your two songs will come together and i'm gonna cry i'm such a soppy romantic oh my god I literally got tears in my eyes um, Libra is the sign of relating and this card suggests that whoever is at the heart of the issue you're addressing is someone who will be open to talking things through. Avoid being selfish, it won't get you anywhere at this time, talk things through. Attune to the moon, reach out to someone and let them know you care. Additional meanings for this card, feel more, think less. Didn't I say that? Was I saying that with the, the Eight of Swords? Um, you're thinking too much, you're overthinking things trust your intuition and uh, that's your strength Pisces um oh marriage or engagement is on the cards told you so I know what I'm talking about I know everything I'm a Libra <laughs> a legal matter will go your way um pay some attention oh I was picking up actually some people are going through a, a um a court process so if that was you a legal matter will go your way uh, pay some attention to your appearance but don't be all about appearances queen of wands um, the teaching Libra is the sign of love and harmony negotiation and relationships it is harmonious kind and luxurious and always aiming for balance Libra is the best sign of the zodiac everybody should either be a Libra or be with a Libra because they're absolutely the best it doesn't, say, it doesn't say that, I'll show you, it does say. Believer is the sign of love and harmony, negotiation and relationships. It is harmonious, kind and luxurious and always aiming for balance. So when we have the new moon in Libra, or at any time you draw this card, there's a restart possible for anything and everyone connected to partnerships, negotiations, appearances and justice. Remember that Libra is depicted by a set of, sc set of scales this energy wants to bring them back to equilibrium. Uh, I don't know why, when, when I read set of scales, I saw a dragon. The scales on a dragon. So I don't know if that means anything to you. This energy wants to bring things back to equilibrium. Ah, beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay. Well, I don't think I could have asked for a better reading to, uh, to close out this cycle of readings. That was gorgeous, Pisces. Um, I wish you all the best of luck for the future. You, 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 it looks like there's a lot of happiness coming in for you. I want to come and live in your fairy tale world. I want to come and live in your fairy tale castle. It just seems amazing. And I'm, as I'm saying this, I'm playing with my little purple love heart. It's just perfect. Your reading's perfect. Pisces, you're gorgeous. I love you. Take care. Bye bye.